What secret games are stored on your smartphone? How can you browse Facebook on your TV? Find out as we look at Android phone functions you had no idea existed. Number 11. Grayscale. Smartphones can be distracting and disruptive, especially when trying to catch some shut-eye. One handy trick to keep the dazzling colors from disturbing your beauty sleep is to switch it all to black and white. Some phones will have display options in which you can change the color filters on your phone, but there's a surefire way to switch to grayscale on any modern Android. Simply visit your settings, head to the About Phone tab, and then tap your build number multiple times. This will activate developer options, a hidden function that includes the opportunity to simulate color space. Simply switch on to monochromacy and enjoy the dull calm of your smartphone's new look. Number 10. Enhanced Display Staring at screens all day is draining on the eyes. This can be doubly true when trying to read emails, articles, or even just your Facebook feed from a smartphone. Rather than squinting or pressing your screen up to your nose to make sense of a sentence, why not just make it all bigger? The display menu located within the Settings app will allow you to raise the size of fonts to varying scales. This alteration won't necessarily work with all applications, but the majority should respond, giving your eyes a much easier time. Though, this change can also cause pages to be much longer and even alter the view required to read, going from vertical to horizontal and making your scrolling thumb pick up the slack. But if your vision's on the other side of the spectrum, this function has you covered. The display size can be adjusted to make fonts smaller as well, allowing you to smush many more words onto the screen for your microscopic viewing pleasure. Number 9. Mirror Casting Most people are aware of the ability to broadcast media like movies and music from your phone to your television thanks to devices like Chromecast. But what about browsing your favorite social media accounts, or simply surfing the web from a browser? Android has you covered as the phones are programmed to do much more than simply broadcast from specific applications. Just make sure your smartphone and Chromecast device are connected to the same Wi-Fi network, then open the quick settings of your mobile device by swiping down from the top of the screen. Here you should find a button labeled Cast, and if you don't see it, simply use a pencil button to edit your quick settings options. Once you choose to Cast, find your Chromecast device connected to your television, select it, and watch in awe as your phone screen becomes supersized. Your television will now mirror whatever appears on your phone until you choose to end casting. Number 8. Split Screen Added to Android devices with the update to the Android 7 Nougat OS in 2016, users may be surprised to learn you can actually run two apps side by side simultaneously. The arduous process of flipping back and forth between open applications can grow tedious and frustrating, especially when attempting to multitask on social media accounts or work documents. This function takes the stress away, all with the tap of a button or simple window drag. One method to access this feature is to open the apps you'd like to use in split-screen mode, then hit the Overview button, also called the App Switcher icon, and drag one of the apps to the top of the screen. It will lock into place, allowing you to choose a second app to fill in the bottom half of your screen. Another option is to merely hold the Overview icon with a long tap, and your open app will minimize to fill the top half of the screen, once again leaving you open to choose a second app to fill the bottom half. Not all apps work with this split-screen mode, but a majority of the most popular applications should function correctly, giving you the multitasking freedom you crave. Number 7. Advanced Volume Control Whether rocking out to your favorite playlist at the gym or catching up on podcasts at work, incessant chimes, alarms, and ringing can be an unbearable annoyance if left unchecked. Rather than blocking specific apps to keep from being bombarded with distractions, with modern Androids you can actually take a more moderate approach. Access the Sounds option in the Settings app to locate the volume control choices, where you will find individual sliders meant to adjust various sound sources as you see fit. But if you're in need of a quick switch, simply look for the arrow in the volume pane when turning the sound up or down with the physical button. This arrow will expand into the various sliders and let you swiftly silence whatever specific, irritating cacophony is interrupting your piece. Number 6. Find your IMEI number. Every smartphone has an individual number code known as its International Mobile Equipment Identity, or IMEI for short. This IMEI number is pertinent in knowing for some insurance plans, for unlocking a device to work with other networks, or for blocking a mobile phone from being used when stolen or lost. Some phones will have this number located on the back of the device, under the battery, 
on the SIM card tray, or even just located within the About Phone section of your settings. But these areas can be difficult to access or confusing to find. Instead of having a solitary scavenger hunt on your Android device, you can instead simply dial star pound zero six pound and watch as the IMEI number immediately appears on your screen. Once found, it's recommended to write this number down and store it in a safe place, just in case your phone goes missing. Number five, lockup options. Security is of the utmost concern for most all smartphone users as they often contain private photos, access to accounts, and even credit card information, among other confidential data. To protect against this, phones have long had login restrictions, whether they be via classic PIN numbers, dot graphed swipe patterns, or new technology like thumbprints. Yet, these login requirements don't quite get the job done on their own, either becoming menial tasks when in the comfort of your own home, or being useless when having to lend your device to a friend. Luckily, Android has taken this into account with two assisting functions. First is the ability to set your phone to lock based on your location. Accessing Google's Smart Lock feature from the Settings app will allow you to not only select trusted places by way of GPS, but also trusted devices for Bluetooth use. Once set, the phone will no longer lock when these new requirements are met. The other function is pinning, which you can enable again through the settings, this time in the security option. Turn on screen pinning, and suddenly you can choose to pin an app to the screen after tapping the overview button, letting you limit browsing options for anyone using the smartphone other than you. Number four, custom status bar. The top line of the phone screen is essential in keeping up with the condition of your phone. Battery power, signal strength, pending notifications, Bluetooth connection, and other factors are all tracked through this status bar, giving users easy access to their phone's vital signs at any given time. What many may not realize, though, is that this status bar is surprisingly customizable. But given the secrecy of accessing the settings required to make the change, it's no wonder that more people aren't aware of this function. Making these alterations requires accessing a hidden menu called System UI Tuner. In older versions of the Android operating system, this menu could be found by holding the gear icon in the Quick Settings pane. But with the update to Android P, this function was thought to be removed entirely. Surprisingly, it turns out this function still exists, but requires a bit of digging. Utilizing the widely recommended Nova Launcher app, users can create an activities widget by selecting the system UI demo mode. This will allow to choose which icons do and don't appear atop your phone screen. Number three, one-handed mode. Mobile devices have altered vastly over the years, going from the large brick-like machines connected to cars and satchels of the 1990s to the ultra-small flip phones of the early 2000s. In the past decade or so, smartphones have begun growing large once again, this time focusing on screen size with many new devices seeming more like small tablets than telephones. To help navigate these increasingly large screens, especially when juggling a coffee, dog leash, or other handheld distraction, Android has created a special one-handed mode. Some phones like Pixel and Nexus devices come with this option installed and even set as the default option. But if you own a Samsung or LG phone, depending on how old it is, this keyboard might not be available until you download Google's keyboard. Some phones will allow you to turn the one-handed mode on through the advanced features located in your settings, but others may make you access the Google keyboard. So make it your default choice, then hold on to the backslash key. This will let you choose to pin your keyboard to either the left or right side of your screen to match the comfort of your preferred browsing hand. Number two, hidden games. Android enjoys sneaking secret surprises into their operating systems, giving users a fun bonus, if they know where to look, that is. Despite switching up the contents of the Easter egg with each new iteration, the way to access them remains the same. Navigate to the About Phone page within your settings and locate the Android version section. Tap on it repeatedly, and within moments, a screen displaying your Android version will appear. Then just tap or hold the screen to unlock further functions, often some sort of minigame. This feature has been around since Android's Gingerbread OS, which added a photo and painting game in 2010. Other games from past systems include a Jelly Bean game, Flappy Bird style games, a cat catching game, and more. The latest version, Android 9 Pi, features an interactive letter P that mesmerizes as it changes shades and zooms in and out before leading to a drawing app hidden even deeper. Number one, do not disturb. No one wants to constantly be bothered and inundated with notifications in the twilight hours of the night, but instead of hassling with the daily ritual of silencing your phone each time, 
You can customize which notifications are cleared to chime in on a timetable of your choosing. Use the Do Not Disturb function to schedule periods where you know you'll want your phone silent, to prioritize the notifications that matter most, or to accept calls and texts from only the most important of contacts. With this setting, you can plan out an entire week of scheduled peace and quiet without having to worry about missing any emergencies, simply by tailoring it to fit your specific needs. Which hidden Android function is your favorite? Let us know in the comments below.